Have you ever pondered about the origins of astrology in the ancient Greek world? Picture a time when the night sky was more than just a beautiful spectacle. It was a celestial map guiding the lives of people. We're talking about the era of ancient Greece, a period in history where the study of stars and planets was not just for navigation, but a way to predict events and understand human behavior. Back then, there were no advanced telescopes or digital star charts. Instead, the Greeks relied on careful observation and complex calculations to chart the movements of celestial bodies. It wasn't uncommon to see scholars and philosophers gazing up at the night sky, charting the movements of the stars and planets. This fascination with the heavens, as you can imagine, had profound implications. The ancient Greeks believed that the position and movement of celestial bodies could influence human affairs and determine the course of events. This belief gave rise to astrology, a practice that would have far-reaching effects. Epidemics, wars, and other significant events were often associated with specific celestial configurations. But amidst this celestial chaos, there were some attempts at systemizing these beliefs. Enter the zodiac and horoscopes. The former was essentially a celestial coordinate system, dividing the sky into 12 equal parts, each represented by a specific constellation. They were the Greek equivalent of a celestial calendar, often used in prediction and divination. The latter, horoscopes, were interpretations of these celestial configurations, providing insights into future events and individual characteristics. Yet these were far from perfect systems. The zodiac was a complex system that required extensive knowledge and understanding, and even those who mastered it had to deal with the uncertainty and ambiguity of celestial movements. Horoscopes, on the other hand, were often vague and open to interpretation, leading to a range of different predictions. So as we sit in the comfort of our modern homes, with our advanced astronomical tools, let's take a moment to appreciate the journey we've made. From the ancient days of Greek astrology, where the prediction of future events was as mystifying and as fascinating as decoding the stars. Imagine living in a time when your destiny was written in the stars. As Greek mythology gained influence, so did the importance of celestial bodies. Now let's take a journey through this epoch and uncover how the myths and legends of ancient Greece played a pivotal role in shaping astrological beliefs. During the classical period, Greek mythology was intertwined with the study of celestial bodies. The stars and planets were personified as gods and goddesses, each with their own stories and attributes. The tales of these deities, their relationships and their adventures were projected onto the night sky, creating a celestial narrative that was deeply ingrained in Greek culture. This mythological framework provided a context for understanding the movements and positions of celestial bodies. It wasn't just about predicting the future, but about understanding the cosmic drama unfolding in the heavens. Even in the midst of darkness, the ancient Greeks found a way to navigate their world through the lens of astrology. Its influence laid the groundwork for the astrological practices we see today and played a vital role in the evolution of astronomy. The development of the zodiac, a celestial coordinate system, brought about a significant advancement in Greek astrology. Originating around the 5th century BC, this ingenious system divided the sky into 12 equal parts, each represented by a specific constellation. The position of the sun in relation to these constellations at the time of a person's birth was believed to determine their personality traits and even predict future events. This realization led to a paradigm shift in the way people thought about their relationship with the cosmos. They began to see themselves not as mere spectators of the celestial drama, but as active participants influenced by the movements of the stars and planets. This was the beginning of a new era in astrology, marked by the creation of horoscopes and the development of astrological interpretation. The influence of Greek astrology on later cultures, from the Romans to the Arabs, is a testament to its profound impact. As the knowledge of Greek scholars spread across continents, so did their astrological beliefs and practices. The Romans, for instance, adopted the Greek zodiac and integrated it into their own mythology. The Arabs, on the other hand, translated and preserved many Greek astrological texts, contributing to their survival and dissemination during the Middle Ages. Even today, the influence of Greek astrology is evident in the popularity of horoscopes, and the widespread use of the zodiac in popular culture. From the ancient Greek era to the present day, astrology has undergone a remarkable transformation. As we look back, 
we see a timeline marked by both discovery and interpretation. In the early Greek period, astrology was an integral part of life, with celestial movements playing a significant role in shaping beliefs and predicting events. The creation of the zodiac and the development of horoscopes marked significant advancements in astrological practice. Yet even with these developments, the realm of the stars remained a source of mystery and wonder. Then came the influence of Greek astrology on other cultures, spreading these beliefs and practices far and wide. This led to the preservation and evolution of astrological knowledge, paving the way for modern astrology. From these ancient beginnings, we see the foundations of our modern astrological systems taking shape. The journey from ancient Greece to the present day was a fascinating one, fraught with discovery and interpretation, but also marked by progress and understanding. So, the next time you read your horoscope, remember the long and fascinating journey of astrology from the ancient Greek ages to the present day.